All right, so today um, I'm gonna do the, obviously the very most uh, requested video of my channel, which is how to make the bed desk. So today is gonna be part one of many, and then at the end I'm gonna do a whole uh, single video of how to put the bed together. So there's a couple of things that I'm going to be doing in this video. Um, I'm changing the design just slightly, so I'm not building the, the shelves on either side. I'm just gonna build a frame around it. So it's, you know, it makes the footprint a lot smaller. Um, you know, it's, it's a question that I get asked quite a bit. Can you make it more narrow? Does it need the shelves? So I'm just gonna show you how to build it without the shelves. Um, and if you can build this desk, you can build the shelves. Like the shelves are like the easiest part of the whole, the whole build. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean that I'm using less material. I still needed to buy four sheets of plywood. There's just gonna be some, uh, some material left over and I'll just use that in a, uh, in a future build. I have pre-finished the plywood sheets. So uh, the reason that I decided to do that was because at the end, and having to sand everything and get in nooks and crannies and, and, and uh, finish and stain if you're gonna do staining, um, it can be really difficult to do that when the bed's uh, assembled. If you do it ahead of time, then you should be able to save yourself a lot of time at the end. Um, it's gonna take you know, time for these panels to dry. I think it's gonna take me about uh, you know, day, today and then a bit of tomorrow um, and probably all of tomorrow because the panels have to fully dry before I start cutting. Because the panels are pre-finished, you're gonna need to be really careful with your, uh, with your tools. Make sure that your jigsaw, table saw, and uh, circular saw, whatever other, other materials or machines you're gonna use, your router for instance, it, make sure it has tape on the bottom of it so it doesn't scratch the panels. When the bed is assembled, I'll give it a, a quick sand and, and one final coat and that should get rid of all the scratches. That inevitably will happen when you're building something uh, with tools and a pre-finished panel. Uh, once I start cutting, I anticipate it's gonna take me roughly two days in order to finish, uh, finish the build. Um, so I'm gonna keep track of all the time that it takes me to do this because that is another question that I get asked, how long should it take me to build this? I'm anticipating about two days of, of work, day and a half, two days, and finishing is not included in that time. Finish is what takes up a lot of time because there's a lot of like you got to put the coat on and you have to wait to let it to let it dry if you have any questions about how to build this desk specifically please put the uh, questions in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them in the comments and I'll, I'll try to include them in the video if you get to the me get, get them to me in time you will have to download the plans um, in order to build this desk I'm not going to be able to to show you all the details and everything that's that's in the plans so you will need to get the plans to follow along you can take the time and totally figure out how to do it yourself and how to how the design works and it's totally fine you're totally welcome to do that but I can tell you right now from experience um, it's a lot easier just to follow the plans that are already laid out than it is to try to figure them out on your own um, that being said I'm gonna get started on this I've got uh, the first coat of uh, a finish on these panels I gotta let them sit for a couple of hours before I put the second coat on and then I gotta flip two of the panels over and finish the other side because some of these panels need to finish both sides and two of the panels I'm gonna uh, finish one side. So here we go. I started off by sanding the boards just with 220 grit sandpaper just to you know get the little fines and bits off and then clean it off with you can either use a tack paper or here I just used a microfiber cloth and then I'm finishing the boards using polyurethane you could use varathane or any stuff whatever you want you could paint them I think it would probably look pretty good if you painted it to choose any color you want um, so what I decided is while I was waiting for the um, panels to dry that I'd get started on making the template for the mechanical part of the bed I find that making the template um, makes the process just a little bit more user friendly. Like if I make a mistake, it's not like I have to go out and buy a whole other sheet of plywood. Um, so I start off by tracing it on um, onto this piece of cardboard, which I will then trace onto a piece of um, uh, three eighths or half inch plywood. Just, you know, the, the plywood that I'm gonna use for underneath the bed, I, uh, I'm gonna use for, for the template because there's some space there to make these parts. So tracing it onto, uh, onto that plywood, um, using a pencil, I just cut it out with a jigsaw. And uh, you know, the good thing about doing this is that if I do make a mistake and I have to get a whole new sheet of, of this plywood, it's much less expensive than, than the finished grade plywood. So I, I made a couple of small changes, which was, which was nice you're able to do that with, um, with this plywood. And then I don't have to worry about it again. Like I said, I'm just laying out where the, uh, the slide hole goes for the bolt as the bed is raised and lowered here. So I just drilled two holes, one above the other, um, 
in the in the right spot following the plans and then just cut that slot out with a jigsaw when i did the prototype i actually used a router to do this uh, to do this step and actually i'm finding the jigsaw in this case to be just a little bit easier actually a little bit more user friendly so i would i would recommend that uh you know using a jigsaw would would probably do just as well so i cut it out and then uh, took the two templates and put them together just to make sure they worked so the next thing that I'll do is uh, I'm gonna wait for all the plywood to dry properly. And then once it's dry, I will uh, use these templates and lay out all the cuts and cut all the boards out. And that'll be in the next video. And if you've got any questions about how to build a bed, make sure you put them in the comments so that I can address them in the comments. And if you get them to me in time, I'll be able to even answer them uh, through the build process in the videos. If you wanna follow along and see how this bed is built, be sure to subscribe so you can see every video as it comes out, when it comes out. Um, it's gonna be a series of videos and then when, it's, when everything's all said and done, when I have the bed put together, I'll take the time and do one single video of the bed from basically from beginning to, to end.